What's up? So I'm going to try to save everybody the frustration and agony that I experienced yesterday. So a um, long time ago, I signed up for Instacart and I really um, I didn't get my card and um, I had like a digital card and I had issues with getting that thing working. And I just very beginning. I mean, this has been probably at least a, uh, maybe last year or so. Um, I was just like, man, I'm not doing Instacart because my first experience with it was really, really difficult. So I got the word from a friend that, you know, Instacart had, you know, updated their app and a lot of things were more simpler. So yesterday I went to pick up a delivery at Safeway and um, in this list right here um, for mobile checkout, Safeway is not in here. OK, so anyway, um, when I got up to the register and, and the thing that was was that I only picked up about three items for the customer. I picked up some oranges. I picked up like some um, some uh, pot stickers and then they wanted some lotion. But unfortunately, that lotion was not in stock and I called the customer. Well, I, I wasn't able to call the customer. I was able to text message them. And basically they said issue them a refund. So um, I was able to do that. Then I got to the register and then Google Pay would not work for me. Now the way, and I don't want to show all my credit card information, but the way I ended up getting Google Pay to work and I went on and looked, you know, there's maybe a YouTube video out there, but you know, I didn't find it. But anyway, the way I was able to get Google Pay to work was that um, I had to set up Google Pay as the default pay method on my phone. And um, I can't remember the exact screens, but it popped, you know, at first, well, so what happened with the Safeway order was I got through, went through all that stuff, couldn't get it to work, so I canceled on the customer. And I felt horrible. You know, I was just like, I got all the way to the checkout and I couldn't couldn't get it to work. So, you know, I was steaming and, and, and frustrated. So I was just like, man, forget Instacart for tonight. But later on that night, I turned back on Instacart and I got another batch order for Walgreens. So got the order at Walgreens. I said, I'm going to give this one more shot. Sure enough. And and here in between all this, I did contact uh, Instacart customer support and they kept assuring me, oh, you know, everything is working. Everything is good on our side. OK, so, you know, I understand that, but it was not working in the register. So what I want to tell people is basis, basically this is that you have to have. Google Pay set up as the default pay method on your phone. What was happening at the register for me is that every time when I would touch my phone to the little NFC thing, it would bring up Samsung Pay. And thank God it didn't charge it directly to my credit card because that's not what I want. But um, I kept, you know, I was like, man, you know, what is going on? But anyway, the end of story is that you have to have Google Pay set up as your default pay method. If you have Samsung Pay on there, I, like I said, I don't remember the exact steps on how to turn it off or Apple Pay or any of those other pays, but you have to have it set up as your default pay method. And um, what I'm looking at now, even this list here, I do not see Walgreens on the list for, you know, stores that you could do the mobile payment. But um, let's see what we what happens when we go to online pay. But um, it, it worked after I got Google Pay set up as a default at Walgreens. So I was able to complete the order and uh, made pretty decent money. Now, one thing I, good that I do want to say is that even though I did cancel that Safeway order, uh, Instacart still did compensate me for going to the store. So, um, you know, this. so you guys, you know, if you guys have any questions, uh, please comment on the video. I'll try to go in more detail when I have time. But like I said, I don't want to expose a lot of my credit card information or anything like that to show you guys exactly the screens that I see on my phone. But um, hopefully you guys listen to this and it saves you some headache uh, that I experienced. Peace out.